<laughs> All right, friends, the painted picture over here, it is the painted picture of their last king by the name of King Mushue Shwe, Mushue Shwe the first, a man who saved the Basutus and other tribes away from the Zulu people. Remember, Zulus were attacking other tribes, more especially after Shaka Zulu was introduced as a king. He would say, if they can't eat us, they should come and join us. <laughs> That's when he was creating the scattering of the nation, the Mfekani and the Fekani ones. So attacking other tribes, some of the tribes they didn't like to fight. They were running away from their birthplace, ran to Lesotho because of Lesotho is situated up in the mountains. He then told the people, all we need to do is to climb the mountain at night. We hide behind the big rocks. Zulus will come carrying a short stepping spear along with the big shell for protection. Once we see that they are nearly reaching us, all we need to do is to roll the stones unto them. The Basutus, they did that. Now, the Zulus, they started to fall backwards. They thought that the mountain is alive. It's growing bigger and bigger in the night. That is why they are calling their mountain Tabayabu Sihu, mountain of the night, because of it saved the Basutus away from the Zulu people. And when the sun rises, Moshasha will greet these people by the waves. Kebonale Seri. That means I see the light. When the sun set, he will thank his people again. I thank the light that me and my people, we are still alive. This place is the Sedi cultural village from the wise weight of Mushashwe the first. Are we good? Let's rock and roll this way. <laughs> King Mushashwe.